guys, this is me and as more. So today I want to get into my, why am I so shy saying this, my laser hair removal experience. But before I get into this video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button because I have a lot of great videos coming for you. Yeah, I want to talk about my laser hair removal experience. This is actually, I'm actually on my third um, treatment. So I just want to tell you guys what I experienced as a woman of color, what it was like for me, and basically whether or not I would recommend it. I've been wanting to get laser hair removal on different parts of my body, um, mainly below the belt and also in the upper lip area because those are the places on my body that I frequently wax. So the reason why I get it is because one, um, I don't like shaving those areas. I prefer to wax and when, when you wax, um, for me it's just painful. I dread getting waxes but I know it's something that I have to get done so that was the main reason why I got it because laser hair removal is a permanent thing now um, I've been kind of going back and forth but I did a little research and I figured that okay this might be something that I can do this might be something that I can commit to so <laughs> Um, I actually got it off of a Groupon, yes, a Groupon, and I'll leave the link below to um, where I got it done at, but I got it done with the Groupon, and I'm not sure how much the Groupon was, but I know that with the Groupon, I can get a, I think it was like a medium-sized area of my body, so basically, the way they describe it is it covers this much. Now... You could also get the Brazilian um, laser hair remover, but I chose not to get that just because, to be honest, I would be, I would feel some type of way about somebody sticking a thing in my butt. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, I got the Groupon. Actually, I, I asked my husband to get this Groupon for me as a Mother's Day gift. So I got the Groupon, and I'm like, what the heck? It's a Groupon. If I don't like it the first time, it's not like I've spent a lot of money. I've wasted a lot of money on getting this laser hair removal done. So I got it, and I will say that it hurts like hell. Yes, it does hurt like hell. Um... And like I said, I'm on my third treatment. So let's talk about what the process was like the first treatment. In order to get it in the state of Georgia, the day before, you have to get a test done to make sure that your body does not react to the laser hair removal. So what they basically did is they put a little bit on me and my consultation lasted at most. 15 minutes. She explained her procedure. She explained the type of laser that she was going to be using. Now, let me just clarify that. The first appointment was a consultation. So the consultation included me making sure that I did not react to the laser, laser hair removal. So she did that patch test and the patch test was basically to see if I reacted to it within 24 hours. So you can get your consultation, but 24 hours later you can actually get the procedure done. So what I did was I scheduled it a week after because I couldn't come the next day. So, um, and also I want to mention that I did these things during my lunch break. So for me, it was fast to do it. I, it's that fast that you can literally do it for your lunch break, still have enough time to eat and then go back to work so i got the consultation um she explained to me that they would be using the yaz i think that's how you pronounce it the yag is either yag or yaz laser which is more preferred for women with darker skin women of color not only black women but hispanics indians and um women who have a hard time removing the hair so with African American women, our hair is more coarse, so one, it's more painful for um, women of color, and two, you have to use a different type of laser. Now, when you do get laser hair removal, you want to make sure that the person doing it is knows about how to do it on women of color. Um, my, the person who did mine, she was white. Um, and I didn't have any issues with it because when I read the reviews, 
um, a lot of women of color gave her positive reviews about it. And so I've also heard that people shouldn't buy Groupons or people should go to a dermatologist to get laser hair remover removal. I personally wouldn't do it unless it's something like I had like a serious hair condition. Condition for me, the esthetician who did my laser hair remover removal. Um, this is something that she did. She specialized and and she had a lot of training to do that. So when she was explaining everything to me, I did feel 100% comfortable in what she was doing. And plus, um, there were people who were also in the office who had had several treatments before that. So I felt very comfortable. I felt like she was very knowledgeable. And um, I felt comfortable after my consultation. I didn't have any reactions, so I went back. So when I went back, that was my first laser hair removal treatment. And at that time, when I tell y'all, it hurt like hell. Yes, it hurt like hell. So this is the, when I went and I had the ice packs and everything. Now, what I will say is, what, do I prefer laser hair remover over waxing? Yes, any day. Yes, it hurts like hell. But I feel like one laser hair removal is so fast. It literally took like less than three minutes to do the entire thing. That's how fast it is. It's fast and the hair continuously does not grow. I had the first procedure and when I got there, she put goggles. She gave me goggles to put on. And I used the numbing cream and I used the ice. Like I said... Don't believe what no one tells you. That stuff don't work. Because my second procedure, I didn't use it and it felt the same exact way. So I use the ice and I use the number cream. And basically what she does is she has this big laser. And let's say this is the area that you're, you're getting um, removed. She instantly, it goes like this. It goes like, psh, psh. And that's it. That's literally what it's like when you get the laser hair remover. The sound, the way it looks, that's exactly what it consists of. So that literally is how fast it is. Now imagine I'm doing that on two areas. That's how fast it is and it's over. Granted, when you get the laser, the laser put on you, it hurts. Some people describe it as a rubber band popping. I really don't have... Uh, way to describe it. What I will say is it doesn't feel like the hair is being pulled from your skin. It does not feel like that. It feels more of like I can't even describe what it feels like to be honest with you. But it does smell like your hair is burning at the end. It does smell like burnt hair. So with laser hair remover, you have to continuously get treatments. They recommend six to eight treatments on African American skin. So for me, I have you have to go back six weeks after that. So during that six week period, like it transformed. <laughs> Okay, it transformed. And when I say it transformed, no, I did not have any reaction. It looked the same, okay? I did not have any, any reaction from the lazy hair removal. But what I noticed is the hair didn't really grow back. And when I say it didn't really grow back, like some people say that their hair grows and falls out. Um, I really didn't see that stage of my lazy hair removal. What I noticed was that um, the esthetician who did the laser hair removal the first time, sh she didn't go, okay, so make believe this is it, right? You guys know what I'm talking about when I say it. Make believe this is it. She did not go close enough to this area right here. This, this was the most uncomfortable thing for me out of the whole thing. This is what was the most uncomfortable thing for me. When I went for my consultation, she did recommend to use a razor um like a razor a venus razor i had to shave 24 hours before my appointment with the venus razor and for me that was the most uncomfortable part of getting the laser because when it grew in it was very uncomfortable if you've ever shaved with a razor you know what i'm talking about so yeah during that six week period it really didn't grow back 
Now, the second time around, I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, so I was prepared. Um, this time around, I did not use a razor. I used a, I used a trimmer. I used an electric trimmer. And uh, for me, that was way better. It was way better because when it grew back in, it didn't grow back in the same way it would grow back in with a razor. So I used an electric trimmer. And to compare it to the last one, I would say it was about only 10% less painful than the procedure before that. Um, and this time, she kind of told me to kind of like move some stuff around so that she could get the nooks and crannies and everything like that. So overall, I would say I would definitely recommend a laser hair removal if that's something that you're interested in doing. I know for me, um, I plan to get other parts of my body done. Now, it is going to take some time. It takes about six weeks. Like I, It takes about six sessions and you have to go every six weeks. So, and after that, you're done. Let's just think about it. What I paid for in about five wax sessions is what I paid for to get the laser hair removal and I won't have hair again so yeah I do recommend it yes it is painful like I said the pain only lasts about three minutes it's over it's done and you forget about it you eat lunch and you go on about your day um I say so there is no real that's the only real downfall of the laser hair removal I personally if I had a choice between going and get a wax and getting a laser I definitely would recommend it because it's so fast and it's over with um so yeah um like I said I'll leave the link below to where I got it done if you guys have any questions um feel free to ask leave them down below i'll answer any questions that you you might have um because i didn't really see a lot of women of color i know jackie um jackie from youtube she did a i know jackie from youtube she did a video and there was two other youtubers who did a video about their experience as well so i'll leave that information below but thanks for watching guys thanks for watching Hey guys, it's hey guys, it's Vienna's more. So today I want to talk about my <laughs> I don't know why I feel so embarrassed. Hey guys, okay, hey guys, hey guys, so if you're watching this video, so don't forget to subscribe for other Hey guys, so today I want to talk about my laser hair removal, so make sure you subscribe because I have a lot of great videos coming, and hey guys, it's me, hey, hey guys, it's me and more, so yeah, today I want to talk about my laser hair removal, but before I get into that, make sure you guys hit the subscribe. Hey, so I post videos every Wednesday, so make sure you guys stay tuned for those. And thanks for watching. Subscribers, viewers, everyone who watched a video that I put up last week, they dragged me so bad. I had to take the video down. And the video 